Hi, I'm with Matthew here at the Hire booth, and he's going to be showing off the Gesture Control. That's the name of the product, correct? Yeah, that's right. For PC, is it going to be available for so Mac? This is for Android TV. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if we're bringing gaming into the living room and removing the need to have a console experience, and you have it straight on your smart TV. Oh, I see. And uh, this is just a basic dancing game. Uh, what games are, do you have planned for the uh, product? Uh, so there's a, there's a number of Android-based games that are in development at the moment. Um, the product isn't, um, isn't yet quite ready, it's still in development and it's still a prototype. Um, but we're hoping, uh, hoping to see this technology in smart TVs in the coming years. Okay, so it's going to be available for all future smart TVs that use the Android TV, you said? Yeah, so that's, that's the idea, that's where we're, that's where we're looking to, to get it. Will it be backwards compatible with some uh, Google TV products? Is there like a standalone product? Um, I'm not. I'm not sure on the Google. I'm not sure on how it's going to relate with Google TV. Obviously, our main our main focus is to get it on a, um, higher smart TVs, and then we'll see where the technology can go from there. Oh, okay. So uh, we see some games launching with it. There's this. Uh, it was kind of like that show. I forget what it's called, uh, where you just gesture yourself and then uh, you hit the block. I forgot what the name of the television show is called, but it's similar to that, correct? Yeah, exactly. That's right. And uh, then there's this dancing panda sort of game. Uh, I think what, what we're really looking to do is to create different ways of interacting with the television. So this, this is one way uh, the, gesture, the gesture control technology that we've developed um, has, has come onto the TV. There are other technologies that we're developing, like eye control, how to control your TV with your eyes, uh, which, oh, okay. we're also, which we're also showcasing here at CES, um, and some other interesting uh, use of sensing remotes with six axis, uh, six axis nine axis technology. Oh, okay. And uh, will you be able to control your television menus with said gesture control control yeah, exactly. as well? Yeah. Nice. Uh, any uh, products that are going to be shipping with the camera inside? Um, so we're still unsure about exact shipping details. We'll have to, come, we'll have to get back to you on that. And was there going to be an external camera so that current existing smart TV users can use that? Yeah, so, so currently the product is an external camera and we're looking at integrating it um, into, the, into the sets. Oh, into different uh, d products that are coming out soon? And uh, it works with Android TV. Is there any other platforms that it's slated to go to? Uh, not yet. Not yet? <laughs> but we'll see where we get to in the future. All right. Any uh, other information you'd like to tell us about the gesture control? Uh, I guess I guess the key the key thing to say about gesture control is that it fits into this wider idea of higher bringing new forms of control to TV, whether it's gesture control, eye control, or controlling with a sensory remote, controlling with voice controlling with your brain waves. These are all things that Hire are showcasing here at CES, and these are um, ways that we hope technology will be controlled in the future. Oh, elaborate on eye control. What is that all about? Yeah, so we can we can take a look at that. Okay, um, let's take a look at that. Um, so it's here. Uh, this is in collaboration with a company called Toby. Um, Hire has created an eye control TV screen uh, whereby there is a camera in front of the TV that registers users' eye movement, okay. um, and you can use that to control volume or change channel or go into a menu. Um, and so this is a demonstration happening right now. Okay. Um, and so the the user um, effectively the user's eyes act as a mouse, and in order to click, you blink. Oh, okay. And so you can select various different programs or menus. And, and then you uh, just move your eyes to the X and then click to uh, get out of it? Yeah, exactly. How would you activate uh, the eye control? Um, it was, um, it's, uh, the, the controls are sensitive to where you're looking. Um, and so, for example, if, um, if this guy is able to open up a program, um, then the volume controls are on the bottom of the screen. So normally you wouldn't be looking directly at the very bottom of the screen, but when you do, um, that's, that indicates that you're interested in the volume, and so the volume menu, menu pops up. Okay, and uh, so it's just activated by where you're specifically looking in the screen? Correct. And uh, is there any way to like turn it off? Or, uh, uh, I mean, if, if you're just watching the center of the screen as you would normally, um, your experience will be identical to just the uh, just normal watching television. Yeah, just watching TV. Okay. But I mean, yeah, the technology is fantastic, and you can really see, I mean, there are obvious applications that, um, in terms of people who perhaps uh, don't have 
the same capacities um, that a normal um, person might have. Okay. Um, and being able to give someone access to it's more than a TV. It's a, it's a platform with social media and everything integrated. Oh, okay. So it's um, so it's certainly interesting for for those people. But also beyond that, um, I mean, gaming is certainly an area that um, Pyre is investigating, and something like this could be really interesting. With that. Yeah, that that could be really interesting simply due to the fact that you could uh, use it to control your line of sight. Because yeah. a lot of people have issues, you know, using a thumbstick or using a mouse, trying to control their line of vision, and that could ease that problem and ease a lot of developers' uses with cameras. Yeah. So there's that's just an area you're exploring. You haven't uh, tried to contact any companies yet. Um, so th this is all this is all technology of the future, and we're all exploring this. It's still in development. But yeah, obviously in terms of gaming, you can imagine that a first-person game is obviously it's, it's clear applications because it can see you know it can see where you're looking, and so that could potentially be something worth exploring. And what countries uh, are planning to get either of these products? Yeah, so um, this, as I say, is technology of the future, and we're unable to, unable to give specifics on when it's coming out, but we're hoping to see this in the next few years across um, all of highest markets, but it's, yeah, very much still in development, and we're, we're going to have to wait and see for specifics. And uh, what social media platforms or websites can people visit to get information about these products? Just uh, straight from the Hire website, hire.com, and um, you'll see information on this. All right, thank you. Thank you very much.